Elon Musk just sent shockwaves across America by announcing that SpaceX will relocate its headquarters from California to Texas. This bold decision has not only stirred up the tech industry, but also left Democratic politicians in a state of panic. What drove Musk to make such a daring move? And how might this decision impact the Starship program? Let's find out in today's episode. California has long been celebrated as the cradle of technological innovation and startups particularly in the realms of information technology and artificial intelligence. At the heart of this thriving ecosystem is Silicon Valley, a relatively small geographical area that has a massive impact on the global economy. Located just south of the San Francisco Bay, Silicon Valley is home to thousands of tech companies, from giants like Apple, Google, Facebook, and Intel, to countless promising startups. But California's allure isn't confined to Silicon Valley alone. Major cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego have each developed their own vibrant tech ecosystem. California's dynamic startup environment is supported by a complex ecosystem that includes top-tier universities like Stanford and UC Berkeley, an extensive network of experienced venture capitalists, and a culture that embraces high risk for high reward. Amidst this backdrop, Elon Musk chose California as the headquarters for SpaceX, his ambitious private aerospace company. The Hawthorne headquarters of SpaceX, a sprawling campus covering 1 million square feet, isn't just where top executives strategize. It's also the production hub for some of the company's most advanced rockets. However, in recent years, the relationship between SpaceX and the state of California seems to have become strained. On July 17th, Elon Musk dropped a bombshell. He announced the relocation of two of his most significant enterprises, the social media platform X and the aerospace giant SpaceX, from California to Texas. SpaceX will now move its HQ from Hawthorne, California to Starbase, Texas. And XHQ will move to Austin. This move isn't just a business decision. It marks an escalation in the growing tension between Musk and the state of California. To fully understand this decision, we need to consider several factors, the most apparent being the political landscape. Musk has repeatedly voiced his dissatisfaction with California's political and social environment. One of the main reasons Musk cited for this move is security. He has expressed deep concerns over the crime situation in California, particularly violent crime. Musk emphasized that the burden of dealing with security issues just to access office buildings has become a significant strain. Have had enough of dodging gangs of violent drug addicts just to get in and out of the building. This not only impacts business operations but also negatively affects the quality of life for his employees. Additionally, another critical factor that hastened Musk's decision was a new policy enacted by California Governor Gavin Newsom. This policy prohibits schools from requiring parents to be notified if their children are identified as transgender. Musk publicly criticized this law, viewing it as an infringement on parental rights and an attack on traditional family values. The ideological divide between California and Texas also played a significant role in Musk's decision. California, with its long-standing tradition as a democratic stronghold, often supports relatively liberal policies. In contrast, Texas, under Republican leadership, tends to pursue more more business-friendly policy with looser regulations and lower tax rates. In recent years, Musk has increasingly shown a clear conservative tilt in his political views. He has publicly supported many Republican policies and recently voiced strong backing for former President Donald Trump. On his X platform, Musk frequently shares content supporting Trump even going so far as to announce his intention to donate a quite large amount of money per month to a super PAC political action committee backing Trump. The relationship between Elon Musk and the California government, especially Governor Gavin Newsom, has become irreparably strained in recent time. This tension was starkly highlighted in a fierce exchange between the two on social media. In a notable move, Governor Newsom posted a message saying, you bent the knee implying that Musk had pledged his loyalty to Trump. Musk's response was equally sharp, retorting with, you never get off your knees. This exchange not only underscores the profound political differences between the two, but also illustrates just how deeply strained Musk's relationship with the California government has become. Taking a deeper look at Elon Musk's decision to relocate SpaceX's headquarters, it becomes clear that political motives are only a part of the overall picture. At the heart of this move lies the Starship program. Reflecting on SpaceX's journey, it's clear that the company has seen a significant shift in its operational focus. In its early years, SpaceX concentrated on developing and perfecting products like the Dragon spacecraft and the Falcon 9 rocket. These groundbreaking technologies were manufactured at the Hawthorne facility in California before being transported to various launch sites. 
Fast forward to today, as SpaceX scales its operations, the Starship program has emerged as a revolutionary blend of those earlier products, aligning perfectly with Elon Musk's ultimate goal of colonizing Mars. This ambitious vision has propelled Starbase to become an incredibly vital hub for SpaceX. According to executives at Starbase, over 3,000 employees and contractors work on site in Texas every day. This staggering number underscores the massive scale and strategic significance of the Starship project for the company. Texas was wasn't chosen as the Starship development and launch site by mere chance. Situated near the equator, the launch site in Texas maximizes the Earth's rotational speed, providing substantial fuel savings and boosting launch efficiency. Aware of this advantage, SpaceX began acquiring land and building infrastructure in the region more than a decade ago, showcasing the company's long-term vision. Given the increasing scale and importance of the Starship project, relocating senior personnel to Texas is a logical and strategic move. This headquarters shift marks a new and exciting chapter in SpaceX's evolution signaling that the company is placing a massive bet on the future of the Starship program. However, it's important to note that the scale of this relocation remains unclear. Musk and SpaceX have yet to announce whether the entire campus or other SpaceX facilities in Southern California will be closed and moved. This is undoubtedly a costly and complex decision. There's a possibility that only senior personnel will be relocated to Texas, while the production facilities continue operating in California. But it's clear that SpaceX has meticulously prepared for this monumental and complex move. The company is significantly expanding its operations in South Texas with an ambitious $100 million project at its Starbase complex in Brownsville, simply dubbed the SpaceX Starbase office. This project will see the construction of a massive industrial complex, large enough to fit 15 football fields. Specifically, the project includes the development of a five-story office building connected to a special-use industrial factory spanning roughly 1 million square feet. Set to be completed by early 2025, it seems the fifth floor of this office building is reserved for the company's senior executives. But that's not all. SpaceX is also planning to invest an additional $15 million into a new shopping center in Brownsville, Texas. With over 13,000 employees, the company is gearing up to scale its workforce in Texas. They're clearly setting the stage for a long-term substantial presence in the state. In the near future, we can expect to see a significant increase in Starship's launch frequency. By situating its headquarters close to Starbase, the primary launch site for Starship in Boca Chica, Texas, SpaceX can streamline the development, testing, and launch of this groundbreaking project. Concentrating operations at Starbase will allow SpaceX to better coordinate between its various facilities, including launch sites, research and development centers, and manufacturing plants. This geographic proximity will enable the company to quickly address technical challenges, accelerate decision-making, and optimize workflows. This is especially critical during the testing and launch phases of Starship, where time and efficiency are of the essence. Well, SpaceX has already taken concrete steps to expand its operations in Texas, particularly concerning the Starship project. The company has filed an application with the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, seeking permission for Starbase to conduct up to 25 Starship launches per year. This number highlights SpaceX's ambitious launch cadence. To support this aggressive plan, SpaceX is planning to significantly expand its launch and support infrastructure at Starbase. This includes constructing additional launch pads and ground support systems. These upgrades won't just facilitate Starship launches, but will also create a comprehensive ecosystem for the development and operation of reusable rockets. However, when considering Musk's decision to relocate the headquarters of his companies, it's essential to view the issue from a broader perspective, particularly from a business standpoint. As a successful entrepreneur and savvy investor, Musk undoubtedly weighed the economic factors and business environment carefully before making this move. Texas, Musk's new destination, is renowned for its favorable and business-friendly regulatory environment. The state offers more advantageous tax policies compared to California, which could significantly reduce operating costs for companies like SpaceX. Notably, Texas does not impose income taxes on either businesses or individuals, providing substantial financial flexibility and the potential for increased profitability. This decision by Musk is not an isolated move. In 2021, Tesla, another of Musk's businesses, relocated its headquarters from Palo Alto, California, 
to Austin, Texas. Although the California facility remains as a key engineering hub, this shift signaled a broader trend in Musk's business strategy. Now, with plans to relocate X's headquarters to the same Texas site, Musk is establishing a new power center for his business empire. Consolidating company headquarters in one location can bring a multitude of benefits. It streamlines management and operations, optimizing resources, and boosting overall efficiency. Moreover, this strategy can create a synergistic effect among the company, driving innovation and fostering cross-industry collaboration. Regardless of the reasons behind this move, it's bound to have profound impacts on Texas. For Texas, this is a golden opportunity to accelerate economic development and job creation. The presence of a leading tech company like SpaceX could offer enormous benefits to the state. SpaceX's headquarters relocation could very well contribute to turning Texas into a new hub for aerospace technology in the U.S., positioning it to compete directly with traditional centers like Florida and California. Right, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth looks at the latest advancements in space technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.